Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of Amanda the Adventurer. Now, in the previous episode, we reached a new ending, which was the Butcher ending, as you can see here. We've got the two endings we've unlocked so far. In episode one, we unlocked the Entity ending, and in episode two, the Butcher ending. So we're going to be continuing the story, seeing what we can unlock next. Of course, we have got this repeating loop that's going on. We seem to keep getting this tape called Everything Rots, and at the end of that, it resets the loop and gives us a new ending. If you have missed parts one and two, I would recommend watching them, guys, because they're full of like really cool puzzles and mechanics, and we're going to be continuing our playthrough based on the knowledge we learned in those two prior episodes. So I would recommend you get caught up on those ones before you dive into this one. But either way, we're going to continue this playthrough in episode 3 now guys, so sit back, relax, and let's dive back into the world of Amanda the Adventurer. Okay, we're back in as you can see guys. I don't know if anything's changed yet. We have the robot which seems to be working still because of course we put the batteries in there by cutting the doll head off in the last episode. Although the doll's head is back on now, strangely enough. Tape is the same, the first tape is the same, okay, so that hasn't changed. There's nothing new on this board here, so that's all the same. Hmm. So I'm wondering if maybe we try and do the cake next? So to do the cake we're gonna have to get back to where we got to before with it, so let's try and do this first. Okay, so we've got the second tape now, guys. We need to put it in, and then we need to pause it on the robot code in a minute. So let's skip ahead, go in here, Good job. Let's go to the and then pause it here. So as you can see, we now have the robot code 150325. We should be able to put it in here. 150325. To send my condolences to Kate. Now, if we go and watch the TV over here again, we should get the cake in a second. I don't want to play anymore right now. Yeah, so that turns off. The tape comes out. And then we've got the cake over here. Now we look in the card and we've got another code 081821. So let's put that in. There we go. So this is for the uh, oven, of course. 325 at 30 minutes. And then put it back on for 30. This will give us a candle, which we can put atop the cake. And a card where we can get a new code. Now, I worked this code out in the previous episode, if you guys saw that. It's 442130, so let's put that into here. 442130. And it says, what's in the card is on the cake. Okay, guys, so I've just realized in the last episode, I thought I'd solved this code. And actually, what the robot's been saying is, what's in the card is on the cake. You can see there's a candle, and it says times four. There's actually two candles on the cake, so it means it's two times four, not one times four. I thought the candles represented a one, so I've been getting the completely wrong code. So it's actually two times four, so we need to redo this code, and that's why I've been getting it wrong this whole time. So it'll be 2 times 4, which is 8, 5 minus 2, so that'll be 3. Then it's 2 times 2 plus 1, so 2 times 2 is obviously 4 plus 1 is 5. Then it'll be 2 divided by 2, which is of course 1. And then 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6. And then 2 minus 1, which is of course 1. So the final code will be 835161. Hopefully, let's go and try this. 8, 3, 5, 1, 6, 1. Let's go. Oh, it's a birthday song. Guys, I think I'm going to have to uh, play that again for myself because I didn't remember that. Okay, so we take this over to the piano and we have to play Happy Birthday, I think, on the piano now. So let's do this. So it's C... C, D, C, F, E. Hey, we got the final candle. And it's playing a little melody for us. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's put the candle on the cake. Ooh, it's melting. What the hell? A 
Okay, this is creepy. Oh, a new tape, look! Oh no, accidents. Um, you can stop singing now. That's quite enough singing. Thank you. Thank you, lovely melodic voices in my ear. But look, guys, we have a brand new tape. Oh no, accidents. I think we've actually already watched this, maybe. But this might be like a new version of it. So let's play it and check it out. I don't have much time. Do you trust me? Yes, I do trust you. Let's say yes. Lily! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! You know you can't... Oh my Lily god. Had an accident. That was creepy. When a friend has an accident... She looked like Slenderman. Sometimes Man. nobody can help them. But we can try. No, Amanda. I I'm fine. I, I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Oh my god, we're not going to have to break his leg, are we? I think we're going to damage him if we touch him here, guys. It was his, uh, it was his knee last time, wasn't it? Was it this one? Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Or was it this one? Don't you care about Willy? He needs our help! Oh my god, what am I supposed to do, guys? Can I pause it? Can I pause it and abort for a second? You know, and just kind of look around this room? I don't think there's anything in the room that will help. Oh man, I don't want to harm Willy right now. I'm just going to click here. If we don't fix him now, things will get very, very bad! What do I do? Lily's head is broken, but Dr. No. Amanda is here to help. Let's prepare the patient. She looks demented. Here, Lily, <laughs> drink this. What is that, poison? I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Lily? Amanda, I feel, uh... Her face went contorted then. We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. What? She's operating on him. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? Man, I don't want to play this anymore. Wooly's uh, my guy, you know? I don't want to be hammering his head open. I mean, I'm guessing we're going to saw it. Probably safer than bashing it open, right? That might be helpful, but what else could we use? We're going to have to end up using all three, aren't we? Things could get really messy if we use that. All right, let's click the forceps. That looks hard to use, but I could try. What else can we click? Anything else? <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! Oh my goodness. No. Oh no! <laughs> The patient is getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Okay, yeah. help him. Who are you going to help? Wait, can I pause it? Time's up. Let's get the patient to No! Move. I think I clicked Amanda by mistake, guys. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my goodness, Wooly's being killed. I was just panicking then, guys. You could probably tell. I was clicking everywhere like a madman trying to save him. And I think I accidentally uh, clicked Amanda. But I think she would have killed him anyway, right? Oh, and we have a new tape. It says, which of... What's that say? Which of Zoe looking for Bebo, John's candy factory? So I'm guessing... Oh, Riley's favourite movies, it says, scratched out. Oh, which of ours? It's all back to front, guys. Yeah, the movies that have been scratched out are, like, fake movies. I get it now. Okay, let's put this into the tape player and see what happens. I'm... Oh, this is the Hi. original! Trapdoor treat! This is really cool. So it's showing clips from, like, all the uh, old demos and stuff there, as well as parts of a new game. Has anything happened now? There's one by the trapdoor. What the heck? This says summer 1989 or 1984, depending on... I think that's a 9. Yeah, summer 1989. Alright, let's give this a watch. I'm allergic to apple. So that's the old How many version. How many mushrooms? How 
many fruit? How many like? Okay. How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many lights? She said. Guys, I think I figured out what this is. Remember, we have this one code that we haven't unlocked yet for this padlock. She says, how many chairs? So... Can we count how many chairs there are in this room? Are there even chairs in this room? There's one chair there. That would count as a chair, I guess, like the, the sofa. Maybe. So that could possibly be a one or a two, depending on how we're counting. So let's put two into this first. I'm going to go with two. This is kind of clever. I think this is how maybe we work this out. Then we play this again. How many mushrooms? How many mushrooms? There was only... Oh, actually, there's, there's several. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight will be the next number we need. Here we go. So two eight. Let's go back and have another look. How many fruit? How many fruits? Okay, fruit is the third one. I think lights was the last one. So let's see. There are one, two, three, four, five, six fruits. Because there's one over there as well. Let's just double check there's no other hidden fruits anywhere. I think that's probably a six. We go with six, guys. I reckon we go with a six. Two, eight, six. It could be a one, that one. And then she said how many lights, I think. But I'll double check just in case it wasn't. How many lights? Yeah, how many lights? So we have one light here, one light there. I think it's maybe two. So let's put the two in here. Hey, we unlocked it. Look at that. Oh man, look at this. We've got suits hanging up, a bucket, which we can pick up. <gasps> oh! And it said, don't get him wet. So let's put the bucket under here. We're going to fill it up, guys. We're going to get the robot wet. Then we'll look at that last movie. Sorry about this, little fella. Oh, he's begging. I'm sorry, man. You love me. I am in love with you. Um, I I I'm not in love with you, my guy. Sorry. <laughs> Please do not forget me. Oh man. Sorry, little robot pal. We had to do it though, and we got a key from it. Hey, it wasn't in vain. We finally get to unlock the mystery box that's been teasing us the entire game and see what's inside it. Oh, we got another tape. What's this tape called? We Can Share. Alright guys, I think I'm going to play We Can Share first. This is actually getting really cool now. Well, he's gone. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hey, Amanda. When you're friends, not sure you I like you anymore. Share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Yeah, I remember we saw Sharing that. Sharing shows Pretty horrifying. you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Oh, I'll pass, I think, on all of that. Man, I guess I'll take the sausage. It looks the most edible of those. Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things, too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? I'll say yes. As long as it's nothing too uh, crazy. Are you sure? It's a big secret. 
Oh man, this is gonna be a trick. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? She's reeling a thing like a spider in her web, I think. I'm out there. Somewhere. What the heck? Oh my god! That actually scared me. Um... What's going on? We've got a brick. Throw it. Throw it at the screen. Okay. Um... I guess that's an ending. Maybe? <laughs> We just destroyed the TV screen. We shut her down. And look, the rain is clearing and the morning sun is rising. And that says the end. We didn't get to watch the home movie tape. Guys, that's the end. Well, don't worry. We're not ending the episode here yet. We're going to unlock the other tape and uh, check that out. And we're going to search for secrets in this episode as well. Otherwise, it will have been a very short one, I think. So you can see on the menu now, we've got the uh, sunshine ending now. It looks to me like there might be six endings total. Three down this side and three down this side. Or maybe even like eight endings total. But either way guys, we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to see what happens. Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing now is unlocking all of the secret tapes and endings throughout the game. Now I'm actually recording this after I completed the game and got all the endings just to kind of make the... Uh, editing make a bit more sense I guess but yeah you'll see kind of what I'm doing here the developers gave me a sheet which essentially explained how to get some of the secret tapes because I found a couple and then I got really stuck so what you're basically going to be seeing here is me unlock all the different tapes we're going to be starting with this plant you kind of pick up the plant here it's got a number four on it you have to water this four times throughout the playthrough to get one of the uh, secret tapes Okay guys, so I might actually try something here. You know how Wooly always talks about liking peach pie? Let's try making the pie, but without the apple this time. Let's try making it with the peach, which I think is hidden around here, right? I think this is meant to be a peach. So if we take the peach, so if we take the peach, put it in here. Let's see if this does anything different. Oh yeah, look, we got a special tape. A secret tape that's unlabeled, a different color as well. Okay, let's play this. Let's see what happens. Where's the birthday girl? Oh! Usually my mom holds my treat money. Well, I'm come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I have. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Then we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> you know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I, wanna, I wanna capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby, we can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own show. Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. So Lauren went missing while she was watching Amanda the Adventurer. So this is telling us like the secret story. This is really interesting. So now we know there are secret tapes, guys. I've got to search for those other secret tapes before we get back to the ending. So the rest of this video, I'm going to be re-watching the other tapes. And I'm going to be trying to figure out how we unlock those secrets. And every time I figure one out and we find it, I'll include it in the video. So there's going to be a lot of cutting now as we zip through the game again. And we try and search for these secret tapes. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and get the um, piano music puzzle now. Hi there, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. So we need to go into the store here. Good job. And you can see there's the musical notes at the top of the screen. So we need to try and work out what these will be and play them, I think. That's probably where we'll get another secret tape because... You know, it's like a hidden clue, just like when we got the code off this same board for the uh, blab bot over here. <gasps> there we go, guys. We got it. All right, that took a while. We got an achievement called Beethoven and another secret tape. All right, guys, let's play this tape now. See what's on secret tape number two. So 
like an interrogation room. 2002, August. And 2.47pm. Little girl and a detective by the look of it. Or is this an interrogation room or is it like a... It looks like more like a science lab, doesn't it? Like they're doing tests. We haven't got any audio though, unfortunately. This is a story we're going to have to piece together. Unfortunately, as I said, guys, I'm going to be on holiday when uh, when this game's out. And I've only had it early thanks to the developers to do this playthrough. So the story explained is going to have to wait until I get home in a few weeks' time. But I'm eager to dive into this one. Because this is very interesting stuff. Like, could that be the little girl that becomes Amanda, is what I'm wondering. She's signing something. Or maybe not signing something. I think she maybe was signing something. Maybe she's signing herself up. To be used in some kind of experiment. I don't know. Maybe that's how she's fused with the entity somehow. Oh, now we've got a security officer. Guarding a door. So they're bringing us somewhere. Feels like we're watching like the Mandela catalog or something. I'm nervous, guys. Oh, I was going to say, I thought something really creepy was going to appear on the screen. That's quite creepy enough, though. So we've got two tapes now. Now, I want to see if we can water this plant anymore at the moment. Yes, look at that. So apparently, on the tape that's included in this safe, where we're on the farm, if we unlock this and we type in Sam during the rooster segment where we have to put rooster in, because obviously Sam was the original author of Amanda the Adventurer. He was the creator. Apparently we get something from doing that. I suspect it's another tape. So yeah, let's go and put this tape into the tape player and let's see what happens when we start watching it. Wait. Okay, let's try it. Sam. Wait, what Ooh, did you say? There we go. How do you hey, it's right there, look. So yeah, you put in Sam, you get another tape. All right guys, let's put this tape in. See what's on it. This is kind of exciting. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production oh, value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Bit of a change of subject matter there at the end. 
So that's very interesting, guys. Sam. It's me, your friend, Skip. Oh, it keeps and going. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Hey, Chip. Oh. Okay, yeah, so basically Sam Colton disappeared. And then it seems after he did, his daughter was taken into the custody of Hamlin, who were the people who purchased the rights of a show from Sam, and they made a animated version of it. Guys, I reckon this Hamlin company has something to do with Sam Talbot's disappearance and his daughter Rebecca's sort of, uh, I don't know, like merge into this show? Like, I'm sure she's trapped inside this show and in some way connected to the entity. Like, they may have experimented on her, fused her with this entity, trapped within these tapes, and then she's trying to, like, hold on, but when she gets angered, it releases the entity in some way. I'm not sure. It's kind of a strange story at the moment, but, like, it feels like Rebecca is somehow linked to these tapes and Sam was perhaps, like, killed off and made to disappear, so to speak, by this shady company that's behind Amanda the Adventurer's re-release as a cartoon show. Anyway, that's interesting. We've got another tape there. I want to see if we can water our little plant friend again. I think we've got to the final tape. So instead of heading over there, what we need to do is try and put this flower in the doll's hair. Thank you. That's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. Okay. Is it a tape? Hey, thank you. You're not so scary now, even though you're talking to us. You know, I appreciate the tape. Thank you very much. So let's uh, give this a watch. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, man. Bye, man. Pie, That's a bit Oz. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. This moment, she's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Oh man, so they were trying to get her to connect with the entity, weren't they? By saying those particular phrases, I think. And her father, Sam, was like, no, you know, I don't like this. And that's probably why they made him disappear so that they could uh, do all those experiments on her and connect her fully with the entity, trap her inside these videotapes. All right, guys, I just got this tape from the piano and apparently this is where we get the last secret. So we put in knee to answer the first question. And then when she asks us to put in doctor or she wants us to put in doctor, we put nobody apparently. You're probably right. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into? Okay, guys, so that worked. We got the achievements. Now we just need to finish up this tape. If we pause it, in fact, let's have a look. Has the tape appeared? Yes. So let's pick this sucker up. There we go. I think this might be uh, the second to last tape. Let's play it. Let's see what's on this one. Coffee break with Sadie Kappen. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of oh, the kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. <laughs> I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> They're like besties. Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. 
you know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being Ooh, such a champion of the project. Our auntie. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming people. It's gonna turn into a into nightmare. This, wild, creative <laughs> this isn't world. gonna be a good partnership for you, Sam. Like my little show I'd back out now. really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. What a lovely little show. What an absolute delight. So, um, yeah, guys, that's interesting because it kind of gives us a bit of background into how the show began. It doesn't really shed any more light on what happened with Rebecca, of course, after Sam disappeared or disappeared in air quotes there. But I guess what we need to do now is continue through the game and try and get back to the end point. Now we've seen those secret tapes. Because apparently if we see all these secret tapes, we get something at the end, like a, a true ending, so to speak. Alright guys, we've got back to the end, so we're going to actually watch this tape that we skipped last time this time and see what's on that one. This one's called Home Movies. Four, oh, one, two, five, eight. We don't have much time. Okay, I think it's just another code. I imagine that's the code for the blab box. I think he's just giving us a hint that the key is inside him. So we'll throw the water on him again and uh, get the key from him. And this time we're going to see if we get a different ending because of course we found all of these different tapes. Right, let's see if anything changes this time when we watch the last tape again. So I'm just going to skip to the bit when we can um, obviously share the food. Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? So we'll say yes again here, guys. Are you sure? But hopefully, because we've got it's those secret tapes, secret. we'll actually get like a different ending. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Yes. Tell us the truth behind this whole debacle. I'm out there. Somewhere. Oh, okay. So can we change things now? We destroyed it again, it's the same ending. That's odd. And now it's turning to daytime, so that's the same ending. Which is interesting. Oh! No it's not! 
we got a slightly different ending that time. And it said the end with a question mark and if a detective burst in. The music's also a little bit different at the end. So we've got a detective hat there now. So can we continue? What happens if we continue? If we continue, we're back in the room. Hmm. Have we got any more tapes? We haven't. So that ending was different, but only just. It was slightly different. We had the detective, like, bursting on in. Alright, guys, I've got to be ending again. <laughs> well, let's see if anything changes. Friends can share other things, too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Yeah, if we answer the question with a no, let's see what happens. Oh. That's right. I thought you were different. Oh man, looks like we upset her. So, um, oh, the attic's empty. Leave, it says. Okay, everything has gone. Man. Okay, I guess we, uh, head downstairs. And that's the ending. So that's another ending unlocked, guys. But it's not the true ending, I don't think. That one was called a hollow end. So it seems that's what happens when we collect all the tapes, we get that slightly additional ending. I was hoping for a bit more, but it's definitely intriguing. It's opening up the possibility of more sequels there. And there we go, guys. That's the entirety of Amanda the Adventurer, and I think all endings. We might be missing one, because it says, like, five endings on the TV, but there's space for six endings. So I don't know where that sixth ending would come from, but we have got all the Steam achievements now, as you can see in this screenshot I'm showing you. So it seems like we've unlocked everything we can in the game. Uh, so I assume we've got all the endings. Again, I will be away on holiday when this comes out, so I won't be able to update if there is an additional ending that anyone finds, but I'm assuming, for now, this is all the endings in the game, and all the secret tapes. With that said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of Amanda the Adventurer. It was a really fun game, I had a great time with it, and a massive shout-out to DreadXP, the publisher, for giving me an early copy of the game. So obviously you saw my Steam ID uh, present in like one of the videos, I think it popped up during one of the updates, and uh, so I had to blur that out and other little bugs. I think the subtitles maybe bugged out once. Again, these issues won't be in the final game. It's just because I had an early copy, and I really have to thank the developers for trusting me with an early version of this game so I could record a playthrough. And uh, yeah, I would appreciate it if you guys could support the game. Anyone who's interested in buying it, just go and show the developers some love and uh, say thanks for making this amazing game because it was really fun. I liked the puzzles. I liked the layout of the game, you know, exploring the attic, sort of piecing together this escape room type puzzle, which expanded and expanded as we got new tapes. And the tapes themselves were really well done. They started out like seemingly innocent and they got gradually more creepy and disturbing. But the game never veered into like full on gore or violence. It actually kept away from ever being like anything that wasn't suitable for like a teenage audience to view, which is good. It kind of feels like one of those PG-13 horror movies, you know, where it's kind of safe for everyone to watch but it still feels really really creepy and I really appreciated that because if they'd gone too edgy with it I think it might have spoiled it a little bit. I think the only thing that I did get let down by was that I think the ending could have had a little bit more to it. I feel like this is one of those games where you have to go back into the story and try and piece it together and I will be doing that when I return from my holiday sometime in May. So stay tuned for a story explained video in the near future guys. With that said, I really enjoyed this, I thought it was great. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me and checking out my playthrough. If you did enjoy this video guys, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.